What's up guys, it's Dakota here. Um, and in today's video, as you can probably tell from the title, we're gonna be talking about the Jeep as a daily driver and how the back seat and rear storage is. Uh, lately I've been getting a lot of comments about if it's a good daily driver, how big the back seats are, um, can you fit you know, car seats in the back, can you fit anything in the back? Um, so today we're gonna kinda talk about that and uh, we're just gonna start off with uh, the seats first. So I'm in the back seat, I've got the passenger seat to where uh, you know it's comfortable for a passenger and then my driver's seat to where it's comfortable comfortable for me to drive so as you can see uh, now I'm, I'm not a huge dude I'm like you know five eight um, give or take an inch um, and as you can see when I'm sitting in the back behind the passenger seat I've got a little bit of room here you know I don't feel crunched up or anything uh, I've got plenty of headroom there's no issues with you know feeling tight back here and then if I move over to my seating position, I've got even more uh, leg room, as you can see, just because I have it uh, the seat a little more forward than the passenger seat. So, you know, you've got plenty of space back here. You can fit people back here. Obviously, it's just getting in that's the harder part. Once they're actually in, most people are going to be comfortable. I've had, you know, a few different people sit back here and no one said like, yeah, it's a little... It's a little tight, it's a little uncomfortable. Now, I'm not saying you'd want to do this for a super long journey, but you're not cramped. Unless you're a, a much bigger person, you've got like tall people sitting in the front that got the seats all the way back, um, then you might have a little bit of issue as far as legroom is concerned. But again, as you can see, I've got plenty of space here and I had space over there. And one thing I will point out is this is not a bench like in the four door. This is just two seats, one and two. You don't have anything right here. There's only two seat belts so that you can't fit three people back here. Um, someone asked me if you could do three car seats. You can't because there is not, again, three um, connections. This is just two seats. Again, as far as sitting in the back goes, you can definitely do it. You can fit people back here. It's not going to be an issue. Better going to be better than the JK was because this is a little bit longer and has a bit more space than the JK. Now, next, what I'm going to show you guys is the space behind the seats with them all the way up and everything uh, so i'll go ahead and show you that okay so in the back like i said the jl is bigger than the jk was so you got a little bit of space here now i happen to have the uh upgraded sound system so in the two door that gives you the subwoofer right here um, normally if you don't have this all this space right here is extra space where you could put stuff mine the subwoofer is taking that spot up so as you can see decent amount of space back here um, but I actually did bring something to kind of help show you guys about how much space there really is okay so I've got my dirt bike helmet here and as you can see if I set it in the back it fits back here totally fine you know you could fit multiple ones now as you can see if I fit it lengthwise front to back it'd be kind of in the way if I was to try to shut the uh, shut the door on it you can see it's not gonna really let it happen but as far as overall space you can see if you had you could easily fit two two dirt bike helmets back here or motorcycle helmets um, there's a decent amount of space for your everyday stuff you know you just kind of have to get a little creative with how you load things um, now what I will show you guys is how to fold the seats and then how to also remove these second row seats because you can actually do that okay so to fold the seats, it's very simple. You just lift this latch right here, push forward. The headrests are going to fold. And then you just lift up and they flop right up. And now obviously that gives you even more space. But as you can see, you still got these seats back here. And now if I go get my helmet for comparison. So now with the seats up, as you can see, there's plenty of space um, to put a bunch of extra things if you need it. But if you want even more space, then you can actually remove these seats all together. Um, and it's actually incredibly simple to do. So you've got this, this bar right here and this bar. All you do is squeeze them together, boom. Now all you have to do is fold the seat back and move it out. Uh, so you just squeeze that those two bars together and then you just pull this out. So I'll show you guys what it looks like with the seats out. Okay, so as you guys can see, the seats are out um, and now you've got way more space. Um, as you can see, you know, there's a little bit of a drop off right here. 
Um, but if I actually climb back here, I can actually fit like laying down or not laying down, but you know, I could sit back here if I wanted to, there's way more space. Um, you know, so if you're tr planning on doing some overlanding or if it's just you and one other person at most and you want to go on a road trip, you can take out those seats and get way more space back here. That's kind of it as far as the seats go. So when you take them out, you can get a lot more space. You can make it extremely practical if it's just you and at most one other person. There's plenty of space for dogs or uh, some overlanding gear, stuff like that. Uh, so now we'll go ahead and kind of talk about the daily driving aspect of it. All right, so as far as daily driving it goes, um, it's definitely daily drivable. The JL has made such huge improvements over the JK. Um, you know, my parents have a uh, four-door JK, a 2013, and this, in my opinion, when I've driven both back-to-back, -back, rides better than uh, their four-door. Um, and it's a little quieter. There's virtually no road noise in this one. Now, um, I'm in the Rubicon, which has, you know, the 33-inch... Uh, KO2s, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I'm sure it does, um, but I've got virtually no road noise. It's all wind noise. All right, I'm trying to see if you guys can hear the wind noise. So I'm doing 55 on a normal road, and there's really nothing, unless the camera's picking up something that, I, that I'm not hearing. It's just pretty quiet in here. So if you know what you're getting into, um, then yeah, it's totally daily drivable. Um, it's comfortable for the most part. It's got a great interior. The uh, sound system is good. So if you're worried about, you know, oh, well, is the wind noise gonna be too much? If you have the radio on and you have the upgraded sound system, because I'm just speaking from what I have, it's, uh, it, you're fine. Um, now, again, you've gotta know what you're getting into. This is still a live rear axle um, and front axle. Uh, vehicle so you know if you're coming from say a sedan it's not gonna ride as smooth so you gotta understand that it's not gonna be the same but if you're aware of what you're getting into then yeah absolutely it's totally um, fine as a daily driver I've enjoyed it I have zero complaints about it as far as daily driving other than I fill up all the time um, but that's just how it is it's really is a really good vehicle like I said the interior um, is nice. You've got all these features um, in here that you'd want from anything else. So it's not like you're you're missing things. Like I've got all the screens. I've got the backup camera, dual zone climate control. You know, you've got automatic windows. Just everything you would want um, in a daily driver. So um, if you're worried about that, the best thing for you to do is just go and test drive one. But uh, I can tell you that I drove a four door before I ordered this vehicle. I drove a four door for maybe five minutes and was like, okay, it's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and order my two door and I haven't had any issues with it. It's more comfortable than I thought, uh, if I'm being completely honest. I thought it was gonna be a little bit rougher and uh, a little bit harsher of a ride, but it's not that bad. So if you're trying to make the comparison between say this or a Colorado ZR2 or a Toyota Tacoma, those trucks are going to be better on the road. Hands down, they're just gonna be better on the road. Now, as far as like rock crawling and maneuverability, um, th that's where this thing's gonna come into its own. So if you're kind of trying to decide, well, I want one that's more comfortable on the road, like you kind of already have your answer. Um, but if you're only looking at Jeeps and you're just trying to decide between two door and four door, they both ride really well. Obviously the four door is gonna ride a little bit better just because of the longer wheelbase, but the two door is fine. As far as everything else goes, as far as daily driving it goes, um, I know a lot of people say the windshield gets cracked super easily. Now, I don't have any wood to knock on, but so far, I have not had that happen. I haven't had that issue. Um, I haven't had any leaks from the top, so you know, it's not like, oh, you can't daily drive it because what if it rains? I haven't had any of that issue. Um, so it's been great to daily drive. I do it literally every single day. I've put almost 11,000 miles on it in about six months. I have no complaints about daily driving it. It's comfortable. If you're worried about, like, say, the noise, you can buy the hardtop headliner if you're going with a hardtop. Um, that'll help reduce some of the noise a little bit. But like I said, as long as you know what you're getting into, you're going to love it. It's awesome. It's a great vehicle. And, um, again, as far as the back seat space goes, you can fit adults back there. I've done it. 
Um, just depends on who's sitting up front. Uh, and then you do have a decent amount of space back there, whether the seats are up, folded, or just completely out. Um, so you can do a variety of different things. Now, obviously, if you've got, you know, two kids, a dog, and a wife, the four door is probably the way you should go. You shouldn't try to squeeze yourself into a two door because then you probably won't be happy. Um, but if it's just you, one other person, or you and a dog, um, like me, <laughs> um, then it's not going to be that big of a deal. You'll have plenty of space. And if you want to go camping or overlanding or whatever, you'll have plenty of space to do all that stuff in here. So uh, anyways, guys, I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, make sure to give it a like. Uh, leave a comment down below if there's anything you think I missed. You know, I'll try to get to it in the comments. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more stuff to come. I'm going to try to make another off-road video here soon with my parents. Try to get them to take their JK off-road. So that'll be kind of cool. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed it and have a good day.